G'day guys, it's Cam here from Neighbourhood. Are you wanting to optimise and discover the highest converting CTA to use across your content? Perhaps you're wanting to measure the effectiveness of new designs and texts of these CTAs across your website. This is where A-B testing your CTAs will come into play. And today we're gonna to show you exactly how. As a heads up, you'll need Marketing Hub, Enterprise CMS Hub Professional, or enterprise to use this feature. If you're keen on more practical support inside of HubSpot, Neighbourhood offer a comprehensive, easy to follow course, so you're making the most out of your HubSpot investment. Stay tuned for more info at the end of this video. If you wanna take your learning offline though, we'll include a free downloadable PDF in the description below. Alrighty, so jumping in uh, from whatever your default view is to find where your CTAs are, you'll want to head to marketing, click down on the marketing tab, and then you wanna go all the way down to lead capture, and then you have your CTAs here. Now we are in our test account, um, so there won't be an abundance of data for this kind of stuff, um, but you'll still understand how to set this up. So here, as you can see, you've got all of your CTAs here. Um, typically, if this was our real account, we'd have all the views that we've accrued, our click-through rate, um, our clicks, and of course the locations of how many pieces of content are these CTAs attached to. Um, and of course, our last modified date, so when we were last playing around with them. Uh, you can of course export this data as well, um, if you just wanted to get a bit of a holistic view on whether your CTAs were actually working. And of course, you can choose the date range of when these CTAs were applied. Um, for us, in this case as well, we do have for our HubSpot How-Tos, we have a HubSpot How-Tos campaign. Um, in this instance, if you just hover and you click onto the All Campaigns area, no, we just want to find a CTA that is uh, just for this campaign. We can find all those ones here, just under the campaign option. So we're not going to create a CTA today. That one has already actually been done in another video, which you can check out on our YouTube channel. Um, but we're going to actually create an A-B test for one. The reason that we might do this is let's just say that we've sent out an email, or we're sending it out an email, and we just want to test how effective a, you know, a call to action is depending on color, even depending on text or depending on what you've got in there or the copy that you use. Um, this is really effective as well on landing pages. What are people more likely to click on? Is it a download here or is it a click now or is it a save money if you click here? Whatever text, whatever your kind of target is here, this is where A-B testing will really come into place um, for you to fine tune what you want to do. So we'll hover over here and under actions, we can click on that and there's create multi-variant test, which we'll click on to. So we've got our version B here. So uh, version A is essentially the one we've just clicked onto, but now we're creating this multi-variant. So there was download here, but now we want to say, grab your free copy here. Now, we could also change the color on here uh, as well, but for best practice, when you're doing an A-B test, uh, you want to only really measure one variant because you want to be able to say, okay, that one variant made a difference, now we'll then potentially change the color, now we'll potentially change the size. Um, so in this instance here, we're not going to change anything. We're just going to keep it as that color, but we are going to change that text from download here to grab your free copy here. All right, so we'll click next now. All right, so under options is where we can uh, name the CTA, it's internal name. Uh, best practice for the internal name is to make it as clear as possible. Uh, so for this, this is the CTA uh, ebook, but this is uh, version B. And we'll just maybe put in a little bit of copy of what that one is, so it's free copy. Um, now the URL redirect type, um, of course, this is just where you want that CTA to go to. In this instance, I can't really imagine that there'd be too many instances where you'd want to create a multivariant where it goes off to a different direction if you are still, if the landing page is built around the same purpose, let's, let's just say downloading an ebook, um, the file link will just remain the same. Uh, we can also attribute this to a campaign. So as I was mentioning before, uh, we could do this for our HubSpot how-tos which currently, when clicked on, uh, you can see, uh, we can select. Of course, you can uh, attribute it to different campaigns that you make. Uh, you can also create a campaign right then and there if you've got something in mind. If you're happy with this, just click on save. 
Uh, and as you can see here, we uh, have our two variations that are showing. So we've got variation A, which is our download here. Um, and if you click on test link, um, in this instance, it was for an ebook download, but because this is just a, a dummy account, we've just included a, um, a, a makeshift document, if you will. So that's just downloaded there. And the same thing applies where you can test that link there. But as you can see here, uh, copy wise, uh, they are different between the two variations. Let's just say that we've already noticed that there's uh, quite a few more clicks happening on one or the other. We can actually manually override what the AB test is and what it decides to choose on as its preferred button that displays on its landing page or email. Um, so here we're gonna say, hey, look, the grab your free copy actually worked a lot better. So we're just gonna turn off variation A. Alrighty. Now what we can also do as well, uh, it's almost like it's a checklist, I guess you could say, of uh, trial and error. If we then wanted to create another variation of this, we could do so by just clicking on add another variation. Um, so that's awesome, we've done, we realized that the grab your free copy one works. But now we actually wanna change up the color and just say, let's just see if, you know what, hot pink, maybe that one will um, get a few more people through the door. Um, this one will be called uh, version C and we'll just say pink. Still attribute it to the same campaign. As you can see here now, variation C has popped up um, and now these two would be running. Okay, so let's just say that we wanna now start to track the success of these CTAs. We can go down to actions and we can do view details. Now the view details here will basically say how many clicks have gone through onto that CTA that we've selected. Uh, like I said, it's a dummy account, so we don't have any actual tangible data right now to show you here, but this is where all of it would be displayed. Um, of course, this is uh, across all time that it's comparing its data from, so it's how many people have actually viewed the CTA, uh, how many people have clicked onto the CTA, um, and then also then submitted something or its action, I guess, um, from that CTA. So let's just say that you wanted them to download something um, so they click onto that and it's a successful download, that's the submission, um, or it's somewhere to go to a form. So here, uh, if we wanted to see what its success was across our landing pages and our emails, this is where basically it would be. Um, so we could just say, hey, I wanna get granular and I just wanna be certain that this is working on our landing pages. We'll click on page and all of your data will show up there. Now I wanna see if it's successful under email, we'll click email as well and we can get that data there. Otherwise we can just see how it is on a whole by clicking all. Uh, our revenue attribution is essentially true to its name, it's uh, how much revenue HubSpot has forecasted that we have earned through these CTAs. So let's just say it was a CTA for a buy now. Um, in that instance, if somebody was to click through and potentially purchase from that, um, it will show up here. So your attributed revenue, which is essentially how much revenue was earned from the CTA and from this content that, that's been sourced through. The deals that have currently gone through. So let's just say that you've managed to spark up three deals that are still in the pipeline currently. These will all show up here and contacts through attributed revenue, which is the total number of contacts associated with closed deals one. Um, that's been attributed to these CTAs. And there you have it. You now know how to A-B test your CTAs. If you're wanting to make the most out of your HubSpot investment, Neighborhood offer a step-by-step -step course covering marketing, sales, service, and CMS Hub in depth, ensuring you and your team are best serving your customers while developing internal efficient processes. We'll include a link for this in the description below. As well, if you're after a PDF version of this for later or you're passing it on to a mate in need, we'll include a link in the description as well. If you gained value from this video or are keen to learn more about HubSpot, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. But for now, happy HubSpotting.